here I am at the foot of Yevering Bell. I've climbed that before, so I'm not going up there, but just looking up to Old Yevering Village, which is one of the old abandoned villages. There's still one or two houses that are in residence, and the old palace, which we'll have a look at on, on the way back, is being done up into a dwelling house. I'm doing a walk from David Haffey's book, Walking in the Cheviot Hills, Walks in the Cheviot Hills. Uh, we're starting here at Old Yevering. It actually recommends you start in Kirk Newton, which is just along the road. I'm going to walk along to the village and then we're turning left and walking up a bit of the College Valley alongside College Burn to Hethpool Lynn. It's like there's a waterfall there. Turn across that and then coming back down the side of Yevering to where I'm parked just now. There's the Geffen Monument up in the hill. I'm going to be taking the road along just along to Yevering. Not Yevering, Kirk Newton. Boots on, rucksack on, a bit of food in the rucksack. And we'll see how this goes. A lovely day, quite cool. Cool November day, overcast. Want some walking, it'll soon warm things up. Glider away out for a wee fly. People have come from Millfield Aerodrome. Wonder where he's going to go today. Just walking around into to Kirk, Kirk Newton. This is Kirk Newton Northumberland, not Kirk Newton Lothian. It's a sleepy little village that nestles in the, the Cheviot foothills. This is Kirk Newton Village Hall, where the David Haffey re recommends you park the car. There's a car park just at the back of it there. Just by the sign to West Hill and the old church. This is the old Kirk Newton railway station. You can see the remains of the platform and the station house just up ahead of us. I guess this would have been a branch line from Wooler at one time. Lovely old building still standing proud. Just at the side of the road. Just coming out of the village now. Not much of a village. Don't blink or you miss it. Just a collection of houses. It's so peaceful here, beautiful. This is the West Newton Bridge, which we're standing on, just looking up the College Burn. is in the road just out of Kirk Newton and I'm just walking down here there's a path off to the left. You have the option of crossing on the other side of the burn but there's a ford that you have to navigate further up. I'm going to take the easy way out and head off up here. 
And somebody's very kindly put a map up to, to follow. Look at this. College burn again. Probably a burn, it's quite wide. Imagine that in spate uh, after some rain. Opening up into the valley ahead of us. Oh, this is exciting. Just looking up at Wester Tor and Hare Law. Two hills about 518 metres high. There for another day. Try that ridge across between them. While we're continuing up the valley for a bit to Hethpool Lynn, we're we'll turn across the burn and head across country. Oh. Just come up the hill. Just looking back down the College Valley. Down the burn. In the distance you might just be able to see the Geffen Monument sticking up above the hill there. Turn round and I think that's here law, either that or Wester Tor. They're both about the same height, towering above us here. That may look big, but the Cheviot's another 300 metres on top of that, which is just over behind them. Here we are at Hespo Lynn. Again, you've been kind enough to put a, a footbridge across. It goes down a nice steep gorge. And imagine this when it's in full spate. Wow. There's a nice view down the College Valley for you. Looking across to the scree of the, the bell. You can see the difference in landscape there, the bits that have been 
been grazed. There's a fence goes up just to the right hand side of that scree area and everything on the right of that is sheep land and the rest of it's been fenced off to let it regenerate as natural woodland and gorse and broom Let's see if I can get the names of the hills right I think that's Hairlaw over there to Wester Tor. That's for another day. And Easter Tor. And I'm heading up this path which is going to lead me over that ridge around the plantation in the distance. And uh, we should have Yevering Bell in sight after that. Just had to stop and show you some of the view up the College Valley. Why would you want to be anywhere else? Looking over to the bell. down to where we've come from. This is just past Torley House, the hill farm, and just round the back of Yevering Bell, heading down this road. What a place to live up here. Imagine that in the winter when the snow comes in. Living at the end of a track like this. Wonderful. back down to the end again back down to Old Jevering just to meet the car again the old palace the old barn being done up a lot of work being done to clear the burn out too 